This time, we're building drift trikes. Drift trike! But for now, we're gonna focus on what we call the gut guard. There's a large opening in the frame, which leaves you exposed to anything that the front tire might kick up. So we started to work on a panel that will cover the opening, and we built a quick prototype out of cardboard to make sure that our CAD matches the real world. We're gonna use these pipe clamps to hold the panel in place. We modeled these clips in X-Design and added them to the full trike assembly so we had an accurate digital twin of the project. This helped us design and make a few different gut guards that fit perfectly. The first one is shaped like a cow catcher, like you'd see on the front of a train. It's designed to deflect objects away from the driver. It's built in two halves, each one made up of a plywood frame and a foam core. We cut the parts on the CNC and then attach them together using construction adhesive and a few screws. To give the shapes a smoother exterior surface, we tried thermoforming plastic for the first time. We used the Formec machine at the 3D Experience Lab to heat and vacuum form ABS sheets over the parts. It was so cool to see how they came out. Of course, the process left us with a bunch of excess that we had to trim off, but that was easy to do with a utility knife. The two halves are attached together with more construction adhesive, and the seam is covered with electrical tape. Then the finished deflector is mounted to a plywood plate that's secured to the frame. For a bit of added fun, we designed a cup holder and a dashboard that's attached to the driver's side of the deflector. The 3D printed parts were attached to each other using CA glue and to the plywood using construction adhesive. We even added a nod to Back to the Future by styling the date of the very first Slug Me event to match the DeLorean time circuits. We're stoked with how the piece turned out and how cool it looks on the trike. The second design was inspired by a mosaic effect and made up of three layers of acrylic. The outermost layers were solid sheets of clear acrylic, trapping an intricate layer of multicolored pieces, precisely cut to fit together like a puzzle. For our final design, our friend Andy incorporated the Voronoi pattern from his record cabinet build into this design to encompass the Salawars Cube logo, while Eric, using an Omex water jet, cut the intricate design out of thin pieces of copper and aluminum. The power and precision of the water jet allowed for the beautiful pattern to be cut out of thin material without any compromise. I laser etched the Salawars Cube logo into a piece of clear casted acrylic and then wrapped the border with red LEDs to edge light the engraved logo. I held everything in place with a rubber U-channel. When everything was mounted, the red glow of the logo really complemented the chrome of the aluminum plate. There's a lot more that went into making these strikes, and a lot of other cool and talented people contributed to the build. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on our next make.